What's up YouTube? In today's video I'm talking about the Washington Wizards and what to expect from them in this upcoming offseason. They already made a trade um, before the next year before next year has already started, so we'll talk about that. And feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, let me know what you think they should do in the future. And let's just jump right into the Washington Wizards. That's the Orlando Magic. Let's jump into the Washington Wizards. Alright, so Wizards have a couple of decisions they need to make as far as free agency goes. Um, Paolo Neto, I think, will gain some interest. Um, I still have Thomas Nadaransky on here. I don't know why. But restricted free agency-wise, Anthony Gill, Cassius Winston, Jordan Sackle. Um, and then they also have this non-guaranteed uh, option with Contavious Caldwell Pope, who we'll get into in a minute, and Ish Smith. And then, um, most importantly, they have... Bradley Beal. Before I go into him, I want to talk really quickly about Thomas Bryant. Bryant suffered an ACL injury early in 2020-21. So he is a guy who I think is going to be in, like a little bit of an interesting fit for a team. Um, I don't see Washington bringing him back, although maybe they could. I guess they still need some center help. But I really kind of like this idea of them bringing him back, seeing what he's worth, but not paying him a whole lot of money. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, definitely a project still in the making, even though he's been in the league for a little bit. Uh, now, biggest thing here is Bradley Beal. What does he do with his player option? That news might break here soon. Um, I intend on him opting out, and then the re-sign comes, and that will be the breaking news that I obviously alluded to right now. Um, so we'll see what that looks like. I think that they should. Um it's just hard because, again, similar to how the Hornets are in the division and their situation with Wild Bridges, what do they do exactly when they draft a player who becomes really, really good and, you know, you're not a free agent destination, so, like, you can't acquire players and free agency as easy, and you're still not, like, bad enough to get a top five pick. What do you do at that point? Well, I say you got to keep the player and you know go from there um so really quickly before we get into extension eligible players let's talk about the trade that they made denver and washington denver is acquiring monte or sending monte morris and will barton to washington and the wizards are trading quintavious caldwell pope and ish smith to the nuggets uh, what does this mean? Well, it's kind of a similar money deal in the sense that, um, in the sense that, both the Wizards and the Nuggets have roughly about the same money with those two players, and so as you can see, fourteen million now coming in and four million um, for Ish Smith. Uh, I think the idea here is to be able to get. A better player in Monty Morris than Ish Smith, and be able to get something for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Um, I like Pope, but I don't know if he's like considerably better than Will Barton. So kind of an interesting deal that kind of just is a flip of money and a flip of uh, players, and uh, just interesting overall. So those two players are acquired, so we can ignore KCP on any of this you know slide that we have here. And let's talk about the other extension eligible players. Chris Alves Porzingis, Kyle Kuzma, Roy Hachimura. Um, they're really going to have to figure out what they want to do with these guys. Obviously, Porzingis was just acquired recently. And he is a guy who I think, again, you just try to keep. I don't know if the market on him is super high. Do you go into the season and say, okay, like... Porzingis, you got to play better. And if you want to get paid, like, we'll fi we're fine with paying you, but you have to be a better player. And you have to play games, and you have to show up, and you have to improve some of your efficiency numbers. So we'll see if that happens. Um, and then Kyle Kuzma. Uh, Kuzma, I think, is a really good player. Um, he's going to demand more than that $13 million player option that he has next year. So the extension talks need to happen. Or they need to move him. Um 
because I think he could easily be a guy. Like if, if Colin Sexton is getting like over twenty million and Jalen Brunson is getting over twenty million, like I can imagine Kuzma would probably ask for around the same money. So anywhere from eighteen to twenty five million, probably for Kuzma. I mean, again, the cap is going to jump in the future, so that number might even look better for the the, the future, uh, you know, cap um, that the NBA will be increasing to. But we'll see. We'll ultimately see. Um, that's pretty much it, though, for the Wizards. Let me throw it back over here. They don't have a whole lot of cap space, so I don't think they're going to make a move. They kind of did already make their move with this KCP trade. Um, but is there a potential move where they send Hachimura somewhere? Kuzma, Porzingis. Everybody wants to talk about Bradley Beal. It sounds like he's just going to stay there. Um, I thought that they kind of needed a point guard, and they did get that with Monty Morris. I actually do like him. Do I think he's like a great high-tier starting point guard in the NBA? Not really, but I do like him. Um, and then they just need some defense. And I don't know if they get that with Will Barton and, um, you know, with – why am I forgetting his name? And I don't think they get that with Monty Morris. But I do think they get a little bit of that with John Davis, who they just drafted. Um, so, yeah, I don't really see the vision here of what they're doing. However, support it. think they're doing okay. And root for them, obviously. But um, this probably takes them out of the Tyus Jones running as well. And they got some decisions. Uh, we think kind of just on the... You know, on the surface, it's, oh, Bradley Beal, and what did they do there? But no, like Thomas Bryan, Kuzma, Hachimura, uh, the, the Porzingis deals, like, could do they extend those guys? Like, those are going to be really ta big talking points going into the season. And, again, if they're not willing to extend them, do they go ahead and make the decision to just decide to trade them? So, we'll ultimately see kind of what happens there. But what do you think? What do you think the Wizards should do? Do you think they should go and try to make a trade for somebody? Or do you think they should just stand pat and maybe try to just move Beal? Or, or what, what, what is the best situation for the Wizards? Let me know in the comment section. Again, subscribe to the channel. Check out the other 29 videos that we're doing for this year's offseason for all 29 teams. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.